Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're all about exploring the enchanting world of folklore, fairy tales, legends, and myths from every corner of the globe. We believe that stories are the threads that weave humanity together, and today we're adding another thread to our tapestry. Our story today takes us on a journey to the land of the rising sun, Japan, a country rich in history, culture, and captivating tales that have been passed down through generations. Our story today is about a character who, despite his small size, has left a large imprint on the heart of those who know his tale. His name is Ishin Boshi, also known as the One Inch Boy. Before we begin, grab a drink, get comfy, and prepare to be transported to a world where size does not limit one's courage or spirit. Whether you're here for the first time or a return visitor, we're thrilled to have you with us. So without further ado, let's set sail on this adventure. Today's protagonist, Ishin Boshi, is a character who has captured the hearts of many with his bravery and determination. His story is a classic tale from Japanese culture, a genre that is rich in mythical creatures, supernatural elements, and moral lessons that continue to resonate with audiences today. Isun Boshi's story is particularly unique because it challenges the perceptions of heroism. In a world where heroes are often portrayed as physically imposing figures, Isun Boshi standing at just one inch tall breaks the mold. His tale is a testament to the idea that true strength comes from not from physical size, but from the size of one's heart and strength of one's spirit. The tale of Isun Boshi dates back to the Muromachi period, a time in Japanese history that spans from the 14th to the 16th century. It's a period marked by cultural growth, flourishing arts, and making it a fitting birthplace for such a timeless tale. So, who exactly is Isun Boshi? How did he come to be, and what adventures did he embark on? Let's unravel the thread of this fascinating tale and discover the world of Ishin Boshi, the One Inch Boy. In a small, humble home in the heart of Japan lived an elderly couple. They were kind-hearted and hard-working, but there was a void in their lives. They were childless, and despite their advanced age, they held on to hope to have a child to call their own. Every day, they would visit the local shrine, dedicated to Sumiyoshi Sanjin, the Shinto gods of sea and sailing. They would offer prayers, asking for the gods to bless them with a child. The sincerity and devotion were so profound that it moved the gods. One day, their prayers were answered. The wife gave birth to a child. However, this was no ordinary child. He was incredibly small, just one son, approximately 3 centimeters or 1.2 inches. Despite waiting for him to grow, he remained the same size, earning him the name Isen Boshi, which translates to one son boy or one inch boy. But the couple's joy knew no bounds. They didn't see their son's size as a shortcoming. They thought it was a unique trait that made him special. They showered him with love and affection, cherishing every moment with their long-awaited child. They taught him the values of courage, kindness, and perseverance, shaping him into a person who may have been small in size, but was immense in spirit. Thus, Ethan Boshi's life began in a loving home with parents who saw beyond his physical stature his birth was a testament to the couple's unwavering faith in the power of sincere prayers. As Isin Boshi grew older, his spirit for adventure began to stir. He yearned to see the world beyond his small village, to experience life for all of its grandeur and complexity. Despite his small size, he was not deterred. He knew the world was vast and full of challenges, but he was willing to face them head on. With a heart full of courage and a spirit full of determination, Isin Boshi decided to seek his fortunes in the capital. His parents, although worried, supported his decision. They knew their son was brave and resourceful and trusted him to take care of himself. To aid him in his journey, his mother gave him a rice bowl, which he used as a boat, and his father gave him a chopstick, which served as his paddle. As a symbol of protection, they gave him a needle to use as a sword. These simple items, insignificant to others, became invaluable tools for Ethan Boshi. With a final wave goodbye, Ethan Boshi set off on his journey. He navigated the river with his chopstick paddle, his tiny boat bobbing along with the current. He faced many challenges along the way, rough waters, dangerous creatures, and harsh weather. But with each challenge, Ethan Boshi's resolve only grew stronger. His journey down the river was not just a physical journey, but a metaphorical one as well. It symbolized his transition from a simple life in his village to the vast, unpredictable life outside. It was a journey of self-discovery, of facing fears, and of proving to himself and the world that size does not determine one's destiny. And so, Ethan Boshi's journey to the capital began, but little did he know, his greatest adventures were yet to come. Upon reaching the capital, Ethan Boshi found himself in a world vastly different from his little village. 
The capital was bustling with activity, filled with grand buildings, busy markets, and people from all walks of life. Despite the overwhelming sights and sounds, Isan Boshi was not deterred. He was ready to carve out a piece for himself in this new world. His determination led him to a grand house, where he sought employment. The master of the house, intrigued by Isan Boshi's courageous spirit, decided to give him a chance. He was given a job of protecting the master's daughter, a task that many might have deemed impossible for someone his size. But Isan Boshi was not one to back down from a challenge. Despite his small stature, Isan Boshi took his duties seriously. He was always by the young lady's side, watching over her with a keen eye and a brave heart. He proved that he was more than capable of fulfilling his duties, using his quick thinking and agility to ward off any potential threats. His time in the capital was a period of growth for Ishin Boshi. He learned to navigate the complexities of city life, to stand his ground in the face of adversity, and to fulfill his responsibilities with dedication and integrity. His experiences in the capital reinforce the idea that one's physical size does not limit one's capability or potential. And so, Ishin Boshi, the one-inch boy, made a name for himself in the capital, proving that even the smallest person can make a big difference. One day, while Ishin Boshi was out with the young lady he was tasked to protect, they encountered a creature that sent chills down their spine. It was an Oni, a mythical creature from Japanese folklore known for its brute strength and menacing appearance. The Oni, with its bulging muscles and sharp horns, was a terrifying sight to behold. It tried to kidnap the young lady, but little did it know it had unestimated the courage of the one-inch boy. Despite the Oni's towering size and fearsome demeanor, Isun Boshi did not falter. He stood his ground, ready to protect the young lady at all costs. With his needle sword in hand, he bravely confronted the Oni. The Oni, amused by Isun Boshi's size, swallowed him whole. But Isun Boshi was not defeated. Inside the Oni's stomach, Isun Boshi fought for his life. He used his needle sword to stab the Oni from the inside, causing the creature immense pain. The Oni, unable to bear the pain, coughed up Isun Boshi. Defeated and humiliated, the Oni fled, leaving behind a valuable item that would change Isun Boshi's life forever. This encounter with the Oni was a pivotal moment in Isun Boshi's journey. It was a testament to his bravery and determination, proving that even the smallest person can overcome the biggest challenges. It was a reminder that courage is not measured by size, but by the strength of one's heart. In the aftermath of the battle with the Oni, Isun Boshi discovered an object that the creature had left behind in his haste to escape. It was a magic hammer, known in Japanese folklore as Uchi no Kozuki. Sorry, I probably really messed that up. It was no ordinary hammer. It was said to possess the power to grant any wish, a power that could change the course of one's life. Isun Boshi, who had spent his entire life being one inch tall, saw an opportunity. He held the magic hammer tightly and made a wish. He wished to be taller, to have the stature to match his courage and spirit. He, as he made his wish, the magic hammer glowed brightly, and in an instant, Isun Boshi grew. He became six shaku tall, approximately 182 centimeters or six feet, a height considered ideal in traditional Japanese culture. But the magic hammer's powers didn't stop there. It is said that Isun Boshi was able to use the hammer to conjure food, treasure, and other things. With this newfound ability, he was able to provide for his family and ensure the, their prosperity for generations. The magic hammer was more than just a tool for Isun Boshi. It was a symbol of his journey, a testament of his bravery, and a reminder of his encounter with the Oni. It was a gift that allowed him to realize his full potential, not just in terms of his physical size, but in the ability to create a prosperous life for him and his loved ones. And so, the tale of Isun Boshi reminds us that sometimes the smallest individuals can wield the greatest power, and that true strength comes from within. As we come to the end of our journey with Isun Boshi, we find ourselves reflecting on the lessons his tale imparts. His story is a powerful reminder that courage, determination, and a good heart are far more important than physical size. It's a testament to the idea that no matter how small we may feel, we all have the uh, potential to achieve great things. Isin Boshi, the one-inch boy, may have been small in stature, but he was enormous in spirit. He faced every challenge with bravery, never allowing his size to deter him from his path. His adventures, from his humble beginning to his encounter with the Oni and the Magic Hammer, serve as an inspiration for us all. 
His story teaches us that it's not the size of the person in the fight, but the size of the fight in the person that truly matters. It encourages us to believe in ourselves, to face our fears, and to never give up, no matter how insurmountable the odds may seem to be. So as we close this chapter on Ethan Boshi's tale, we hope his story has inspired you as much as it inspired us. We hope that it has encouraged you to believe in your own potential, to face your own onies, and that no matter how small you may feel, you have the power to make a big difference. And that, dear viewers, brings us to the end of our journey today. We traveled through time, delved into the heart of Japanese folklore, and discovered an inspiring tale of Ethan Boshi, the one-inch boy. We hope that his story has touched your hearts and sparked your imagination as much as it has ours. As we come to a close, we want to remind you that every story we share on this channel is a celebration of our shared human experience. Each tale, each character, each adventure is a testament to the power of storytelling and its ability to connect us, inspire us, and help us see the world from different perspectives. We hope you enjoyed this tale of Ishin Boshi and that it left you with a sense of wonder and a newfound appreciation for the richness of Japanese folklore. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world to us and lets us bring these stories to you. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel. For more fascinating stories from around the world, we have many more tales to share and we can't wait to embark on our next adventure with you. Until next time, Keep exploring, keep dreaming, and remember, no matter how small you may feel, you have the power to make a big difference. Stay curious, stay inspired, and as always, happy storytelling.